Can you, can you add this information for us? Because it's not in our book. Yeah. Well, if it's not in your book, you won't see it in the test. Okay. Do we need to have ghosts in the book? No. The, uh, informa the information about Orlam is for your own uh, information. Even so when I was doing my research on methadone and so forth, this popped up. And it was a, 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 another medication used that wasn't mentioned in your book. And I thought it was good information. Well, if you, they have to take them in not necessarily. Ooh, got the plain now the question is, if you have someone who's, who's an uh, addicted individual, they're in the hospital for whatever reason, they have an injury or surgery or whatever else, what are you going to treat them with for their pain? <laughs> Opiates, the same thing that they're addicted to, absolutely. You are going to treat their pain. You as nurses, nurses are concerned about their addiction, but that is not your job to cure them. Therefore, you're going to treat the symptoms that they have, and you have to treat them as real symptoms. You can't treat them as contrived because you need more medication. You cannot do that. That's a judgment call. You have to treat them with medication. It's not going to work. Now, you can use methadone, it doesn't work. Pop it back up to, to morphine or, or to Demerol, whatever else that will work. You will, you will do that and then under, under doctor's order, but you will do that uh, in order to limit the pain and once the pain is uh, coming down, then that, that is we, they are weaned off of it and then send on their way or whatever. It, but, but you have to treat them. You have to treat them. Now, in a lot of cases, you can look at the individual that the physician will say, okay, we'll give the medication for three or four days, period. Because by then, the issue of the pain and the cause of the causation of the pain should be gone. And then the kids want whatever other medication, NSAIDs or whatever else. And then the, the, the patient has to be able to use it to work. So, or, and, and it, it's interesting, when they're in the hospital, they are offered um, addiction treatment. They've got in the hospital itself, but at a facility where they can get that treatment. Our job is to treat, to treat the issue somebody else's job is to, to take care of their, of their addiction. We have to be very careful. It's really easy to cut that judgment back. I'm not going to give them that payment because we're on in land. They don't need it. They just need their addiction. They're fixed. I just didn't know if they just have to clarify your eye. Well, if they're addicted, they're not going to turn over your down. Uh, <laughs> right? so nice. No, I don't want any of that stuff. I've had, you know, I've been having heroin all my life, and I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen. Well, they could be in recovery. Yeah. yeah. If, 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 they, if they are in recovery, they can't use other medication. Or they could actually use that medication short term and then do a follow up afterwards to make sure that that thing goes back in. In some cases, you have no choice. You have to be in the strongest in order to take care of them. Okay. 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 <laughs> God, my family's house in Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes. It's me right here. How many in, in here have some migraines? Have some mm -hmm. for migraines or close for headaches? In these pictures, you're going to identify with. I looked up these pictures. Right? <laughs> 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 
That's what it feels like. These are, I, I uh, Googled in there, give, give me images of migraines and cluster headaches, and that's what they came up with. Uh, they, they did have a ton of pain in there, but I didn't think that would be appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Characteristics of his headaches as they, as they uh, indicated here. It is debilitating. It's just not a really bad headache. It is debilitating. And I even take my head off. You guys can tolerate this because I probably had three headaches in my entire life. And one of them was imposed by somebody else. <laughs> I don't have them. But all these issues are associated with migraines and, and clusters. That, that's for your own information. We have medication for for prevention, Enderol, uh, has been used for years. It does work on some people, not on others. Uh, generally, the, the best prevention that I, when I've talked to a lot of people, the best prevention is they have that aura. They have that smell, that sound, that feeling, and they go find a dark room, dark, quiet room right away and curl up in a fetal position and wait for it to pass. That's true. My wife worked for a general who had it, and when he wouldn't, Start saying he felt nauseated. She would go out and bring him a 12 pack of coke, and he would down it in less than two minutes. The caffeine, the caffeine, the basal constrictor. It, pre it prevents the it prevents the uh, uh, spasm of uh, the blood vessels, but continue the headache. Years ago, they had medication called Caprigot, which is basically straight caffeine been being shot into you, or the same thing. Right. Side effects, and, and then they found found other things which were similar that could be used, but primarily the side effects. Wait, I hear I hear conversation. I can't hear this. She got she got a really quiet, sweet voice, and I can't hear. <laughs> See that one more time. It's got a lot of caffeine in it. Why is that one? Because it, again, side effects for the issue. And they said we have other medications that we can use. Now, caffeine is still the, you know, when, when migraines are coming on, caffeine is still the, the thing of choice to prevent it from worsening. Uh, but but what's interesting is it doesn't work on everybody. You have some people who will get a lot of caffeine and their migraine will still come on. Other people, you could be sitting in this classroom and you're going, oh my God, I'm going to have a migraine. We'll put you into a quiet room somewhere, but it's too late. Mm -hmm. It's already started, it's full yep. blown, and now you got to wait until the, the nausea and stuff passes before you can drive home. Yep. You know? So other, me other medications were given. Uh, medications, anticonvulsants, and your uh, tricyclic antidepressants. Uh, all except for the uh, Neurotin. Those medications have what's called an off-label use. Is that they are made for other purposes. We'll be talking about that when we get into the, to the uh, uh, neural and so forth. But the off-label use for it as an anticonvulsant is it, intended to relieve sp the spasms within the blood vessels and lessen the migraine. Uh, the neurotin an anticonvulsant, but it, it's also a, a thing that, that quiets nerves. It quiets the nerves within, within an individual. And therefore, it, it helps to relieve some of the symptoms of the migraine. Management, as we have up here, anything that can be gotten in order to uh, get rid of the migraine. Uh, Imitrex. Is, uh, seems to be the drug of choice today, uh, but they, then it could depend on, on the particular individual and how severe the migraines are. Uh, some migraines cannot be treated except with an opioid in order to put the person down and out and then everything is Did it taste good then? <laughs> Pretty serious. Go ahead. Perfect. Correct. 
You want to limit the blood flow. First, you want to, you want to stop the, the, the vessel spasm, and you, then you want to bring it down so you don't have all that, that blood coming in, so that now it, the, the pain is caused by all that, that increase of, of stuff. You have dilated blood vessels. What happens, they become semi-permeable. Everything comes out, causing more irritation. Is that why it's it's head stuff Yes, exactly. Now you know, don't you? Yeah, now I know. You thought you were a head thumper. <laughs> anyway, as you can see up here, uh, side effects with medications are fairly severe. But again, you look at, at the benefit versus the potential side effect, which one's better? If it works very well, the benefit outweighs the side effect. You see the side effects, not all of those are going to be present, but you have the possibility of any one of those. Questions? Questions, concerns, heartache, heartburn. I don't do I don't do your Abby, but anything else.